Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In this video, I'll show you how to use Oxygen's testimonial element to add testimonials to your page. So to add a testimonial, just go to Add Helpers Testimonial, and this will add a testimonial element to your page. Now let's go ahead and add a class to this testimonial before we edit it. That will allow us to apply these same styles to multiple testimonials. So I'll click Choose Selector to edit, enter class name, I'll call this My Testimonial. And now let's have a layout where we have uh, three testimonials in columns. So I'll go ahead and go Add, Basics, Columns. I will choose a three column layout. Let's go ahead and drag my testimonial into the column. And then we will duplicate one, two, three times across the columns. Now let's go ahead and style the testimonials. So first we will set the testimonial image. So I'll go browse and I already uploaded a photo of myself. And then we can adjust the image size for the testimonial image and we can adjust the space on the side of the image. Let's go with uh, 120 pixels, 125 and 25 pixels after the image. We can choose our image position before the testimonial or after the testimonial. I'm going to go with before. Then if we go back to testimonial, we can set the layout options. So we can choose a horizontal layout, which is the default, or a vertical layout like this. Let's go with a vertical layout, content alignment of center. And I'll show vertical layout below in mobile content alignment when I explain the responsive settings later in this video. Then we have typography options for our testimonial text, our testimonial author, and our testimonial author info. So to edit text in a testimonial, it's just like editing any other text element. Just double click the text and type in your testimonial text. Editing the author is the same way. And optionally, you can delete the author info. So you just double click to edit and then delete, and that will delete the author info from the testimonial if you don't need it. So let's go ahead and style the text of the testimonials here. So just go to text, let's change the font family to say Allegria Sans, font style, italic. Let's actually not use a custom font there, let's just use Open Sans, italic, font weight of 300, and that looks pretty good. Now let's go back to author text styles and let's go with uh, uppercase uh, font weight of 500. Now let's go font weight 600, letter spacing two, anti-alias to thin it out a little bit. Okay, looks good. There is our testimonial. And notice that we are updating the styles of all of these testimonials because we added a class. So for example, if I go to spacing, go to text space below, I'm updating the styles for spacing everywhere. Author space below, updated on all testimonials that have the class. Okay, now let's go ahead and create some responsive testimonials. These are going to be responsive already because they're in columns or stacked vertically. So small screens at columns just stacked vertically. But what if we had a horizontally stacked testimonial? So let's go ahead and delete these columns and add in another testimonial. We'll stack this one horizontally. So we'll go to helpers testimonial to add a testimonial and I'll call this uh, my wide testimonial. Again, we're adding a class so we can style multiple testimonials at the same time. So let's duplicate that a few times and let's add some space to the testimonial. So we'll just mouse over and drag down on the drag bar as usual to add space. And now let's uh, style the testimonial a bit. So you can use all the same advanced styles for testimonials as you can for any other element. So you just go to the advanced tab and you have all the advanced styles available. I'm going to go ahead and add in a white background since I'm on sort of a light gray section and then I'm going to add in some spacing here. So the size and spacing Let's add in 30 pixels of padding on all sides. And instead of making these full width, let's go with the max width 
of uh, 800 px. And now, okay, we have our three testimonials. Let's go ahead and add in a shadow. So we'll go advanced, effects, box shadow. Let's go with a semi-transparent black shadow, no offset, 20 pixels of blur. Okay, that just makes them pop out a little bit. Maybe that's a little too much spacing. Okay, that's looking better. And now we have three horizontal testimonials. Now let's make these responsive. By default, they stack horizontally. The image is on the left and the text and author info is on the right. But if we go down to say less than 480, this looks pretty cramped. So what we can do is go to layout and we can choose to have a vertical layout below the screen width of our choosing. So let's find out when these testimonials stop looking good. All devices, they look good. Page container, they look good. Less than 992, they look good. Less than 768, they're a little cramped. So let's have a vertical layout below 768 and mobile content alignment of center. Now on all devices, they stack horizontally. And when the screen gets too narrow, they stack vertically. Okay, that is how to use Oxygen's testimonial element to add testimonials to your pages. Thank you very much for watching.